Hey guys, I'm making this video for everyone that was asking me questions about how to add the names to the split name monogram uh, video. Um, it may not have been real clear or I might have went too fast on that video. So I have made a new video on just adding the name to the split name monogram. And I will link the original video down below which was how we made $1,700 with one project with our Glowforge within the first mall. And I will um, link the Etsy file also down below. And that file is also linked in the other video. So let me know if you have any other questions regarding um, how we do the names in the split name monogram in Inkscape. And this is just for Inkscape. That's currently the only program that I use and the only program that I know how to use. So, um, thanks for watching and I hope this helps. Okay guys, once you purchase the file and you open it in Inkscape, you will see something that looks like this. It is letters A through Z, and today we're going to be getting J for Jonathan. All you have to do is click on the letter that you need. In my case, it's J. Right click on J, click Copy. Then we're going to go up to File, New. And if you don't already have this preset, for the Glowforge, you're going to want to go to File, Document Properties, then you change from millimeters to inches, change the width to 19.5, and the height to 11 inches, and this will change the dimensions of your canvas to fit on the Glowforge or fit inside the Glowforge. Now we will right click in the middle of the canvas, paste, and there is our J. Now what we need to do is expand this J to make it as big as it can to fit up inside of the canvas. Now if you only click on this arrow here and drag it, you can see that it can easily get distorted and moved around. The dimensions get all out of whack. So I'm going to undo here and the way that you want to drag this is you're going to hold down the control key on your keyboard. So I'm holding down the control key. You're going to click this arrow here, the slanted arrow, and you're going to drag it up while you hold down the control key. Reposition, let off the control key, left click on the J and reposition, and then the same thing, hold down control, drag the arrow. Reposition where you need it. So this is about as big as I'm going to want to get it. Alright, so now we have the sizing down for the J. Next, I'm going to go to the text tool, click inside of the J, spell in all caps, Jonathan, change my font to Times New Roman, bold, and then click on your select tool. And the same thing here. I'm going to hold down the control key and drag the name up. Reposition, let go of control, left click, left click and hold to reposition. Control, drag, and a little bit smaller here. Okay, this is about how big I want to get it. So now we have it positioned in the middle. Now let's zoom in. To zoom in, you hold down the control key while you have the control key held down. 
scroll forward with your middle mouse button and that will allow you to zoom in. So now without holding anything on your keyboard you will press the up arrow until it connects to the top line. Press left click and drag the down arrow until it's inside the bottom line. Click away to check it. Click back on it. I need to come up on the top just a little. Let's see. About right there. Okay. Now I will zoom back out. Hold the control key and scroll down with my middle mouse button. So now we have the letter J position. We have the name Jonathan written out and resize and position correctly. Now what we need to do here is click on the name Jonathan, go to object at the top, click ungroup. Well actually go to path first, click object to path, so path, object to path, then go to object, ungroup, and as you can see it made each letter individual. And now while you have all of the letters selected, do not click anywhere else. You're going to hold down the shift key and the alt key on your keyboard. And while you're holding down shift and alt on your keyboard, Hover over the bottom half of the J and use your middle mouse button to scroll up. And that allows you to grab all the letters and the bottom half of the name of the, of the J at the same time. With that stuff selected, you will go to Path Union. Okay, so now you see everything is combined the name is combined and the bottom half is combined. While you have that selected, same thing, hold the shift, alt key, scroll, hover over the top part of the J, and use your middle mouse button and scroll up. Now you have bottom half, name, top half selected, object, or path, union, and now the whole thing is combined and union. So at this point you can save it, save it as Jonathan. And when, when you pull it up on the Glowforge, it will look like this. So you change the settings to cut. I have name monogram custom here. If you're using the plywood that I have linked uh, from Home Depot in my other video I use speed 140 with a quarter inch plywood and as you can see the J is union together with the with the name and you have to make sure you put this to cut so this is going to cut not engrave I think it defaults to engrave so you're going to want to cut this out if you have any other questions regarding how you add the name to the split name monograms, please leave me a comment and I will do my best to address it. So, thanks for watching. Hope this helps.